Hi, good morning. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making slow cooker barbecue ribs. I um, found a new recipe. I wanted to give it a try. I'm going to be the first to admit that cooking ribs can be challenging for me. And I think for some, uh, I think for many, um, unless you put them on the grill where they always seem to come out really perfect. Uh, but today we're going to be putting them in the slow cooker. It's a very simple recipe. The recipe I am using is for um, is for the um, uh, pork baby back ribs. I am not using, I'm using boneless ribs. Um, I thought that I got the, <laughs> I thought that I got a rack, but I didn't, but that's okay. So I'm gonna swing the camera around and I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we're gonna do for the rub. And then we'll get these in the crock pot. It is early. It is only what? It's 8 30 right now. Um, I want them to cook as long as possible, hoping that they come out tender and you know really juicy. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay, let's swing this around. Okay, so let's go through the ingredients. I am going to, you can either do your own homemade barbecue sauce. I am going with sweet baby rays. Um, barbecue sauce because I've used it in the past and I really like the taste of it. You're going to do um, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of, um, no, I'm sorry, one tablespoon of brown sugar, two teaspoons of paprika, and one teaspoon, no, I'm sorry, half a teaspoon of the pepper. And I have my ribs here. I'm going to go ahead and pat them dry. Um, and then I'm going to put all the ingredients, mix them all together, and put them on top of the, um, the ribs. And I really, maybe I should have gotten a cookie sheet. And you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me get, bring up a cookie sheet so I can place all the ribs on. So I went ahead and put them on the cookie sheet. I just think it's gonna be easier to put the seasonings on. I'm just patting them dry. I haven't had ribs in a while. I have to really be in the mood for them, I don't know. But I figure it's a good summertime recipe. I know a lot of people make ribs during the summer on the barbecue. Okay, let's move these over. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all the ingredients, except the barbecue sauce, into a bowl. are all pat dry and what I'm going to do is go ahead I mixed up the um, all the seasonings and you're just going to rub them evenly on top of each of the ribs I smell the paprika and the garlic <laughs> Smells good, even at 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> I do need another cup of coffee already. I haven't even had my breakfast yet, which I'm going to do as soon as I get these in the crock pot. Okay. I'm going to go back and do a little bit more of what's left. Make sure that they're all rubbed in very well. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, so. Let me um, swing over to the crock pot and we'll start putting these, placing them in the crock pot. We're going to do two cups of the um, either your homemade barbecue sauce or I, again I'm using the Sweet Baby Rays. And you know what, maybe I could just bring over the crock pot on this side. Alrighty, I have the crock pot. I did went ahead and sprayed it because I don't want to have to deal with the the mess of the barbecue sauce probably you know sticking on the sides and on the bottom so we're just going to start off with placing the ribs in layers let me see if i can squeeze these two on here and then i'm going to take the barbecue sauce and you know what i wanted to do let me get um let's pour that on here I'm gonna get a pastry brush so I can just spread it over evenly. I'll make sure that you, they're all coated with the barbecue sauce. I don't even know if I've ever done these in the crock pot before, so I'd be interested to see how they come out. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the next layer. probably have about three layers by the time I'm done with this and this is still only one cup so I have a whole other cup to put on over as well okay. I'm just gonna pour it all over whatever I can get out of the Out of the rest of it I'm just gonna pour it over the top I think the more the better <laughs> okay let's see how much more can we get out of here All the ribs have been covered with the barbecue sauce. I'm going to go ahead and put this on low for six to seven hours. Um, you can also do it high for three to four hours if you're short on time. Since it's very early in the morning, I have the whole day for these to cook and that's my plan. I will um, show you what they look like when they're done and hopefully they will taste really you know, moist and uh, looking forward to trying these. Okay guys, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. They just came out, they smell good. Some of them are actually just breaking off into pieces, which is a good sign that they are nice and tender. And I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of it and I will let you know what I think. <laughs> but this is, they came out really good. They smell delicious, let's try it. Okay, so this is it, the slow cooker ribs barbecue ribs and they are delicious I just tasted a little bit of it myself and I have to say they came out really good I'm really happy with the way they turned out so this is it my friends if you've enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment share and uh, if you haven't subscribed I would love to have you uh, as part of the family please subscribe hit the bell so you know when I post my next video until next week thank you guys have a great day